Good morning. Today is Friday, April 29th, and I'm Carmen Blackwell with your 3 News Now morning update. Thank you for spending a few minutes with me on the WKYC Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube pages. We start you off this morning with a check of today's weather forecast with Holly. Good morning. Good morning, Carmen, and good morning to you. It's sunny, it's beautiful, it's chilly, but we're going to end up a little bit warmer than yesterday, which counts for something, right? Lots of sunshine. We'll be in the 50s as we get into the afternoon, upper 50s to near 60 degrees. We will take it. Some of you inland will actually hit 60 today. Mid 60s normal for this time of the year. As we continue through the overnight hours and start your Saturday, plenty of sunshine to start. We will see more of a mix of clouds and sun heading into tomorrow afternoon, but we're back to seasonal weather. What do you know? Highs in the mid 60s tomorrow. Then as we get into Sunday, we'll start to track scattered showers and thunderstorms. And you can see some of that already happening early on Sunday. Let's get you through the rest of the weekend and for that matter, the next seven days. 58 the high today. Enjoy all the mostly sunny skies. Tomorrow will be in the mid 60s and then upper 60s with those scattered showers and thunderstorms around on Sunday. Monday will dip back into the low 60 range. Certainly nothing too extreme there. Then we're in the 70s Tuesday, scattered showers and storms up and down. This pattern continues and that cold front will cool us off just a little bit. Not quite the winter cold we had this week, but we will see highs around 60 by Wednesday and Thursday of next Next week and uh, we'll be leading up to Mother's Day weekend at that point, Carmen. OK, Holly, thank you so much. Now to some headlines for you. Moderna is asking U.S. regulators to open its COVID-19 vaccine to the nation's youngest children now. Kids under five are the only group in the U.S. not yet eligible for vaccination. Moderna submitted data to the Food and Drug Administration yesterday, and the company hopes the FDA will rule in time for kids to start getting vaccinated by the summer. Pfizer is also studying its vaccine in the smallest of children. Well, officials are investigating a single engine plane crash in Medina County this morning. It happened around 6 o'clock Thursday evening at the Weltsian Sky Park near Wadsworth. Early reports indicate the aircraft flipped upon landing and the pilot was taken to Akron General Hospital. His injuries are non life threatening. It was like uh, napalm in the sky. Well, ODOT releasing more video yesterday showing the flames and the blaze here engulfing two semi trucks in Lorain County. It happened on the eastbound lanes of the Turnpike in Elyria Township. Both semi drivers escaped without injury. One truck was hauling rubber mats and the other one was hauling glue used as an adhesive for plastics. Both are highly flammable. Well, outgoing Cleveland State President Harlan Sands will receive $1 million from the university now. Earlier this week, it was announced that Sands was stepping down as president, citing a failure to settle differences. Sands will be offered a full tenured teaching job at CSU's Cleveland Marshall College of Law. A spokesperson says he plans to teach this fall. Well, tonight in Cleveland, the five year old killed in a hit and run on Cleveland's west side last week will be remembered. This is a vigil for Apollina Asamini, and she will be held, uh, the vigil for her will be held at 6 on West 50th Street, where she was struck. And the community is asking more be done to make streets safer for kids just like her. There's been a lot of times where we'll drop off a kid, they'll open the door, and they'll quick have to shut it because the car comes speeding down the road. Um, or just general them trying to get to different activities without us picking them up is a big concern. I think it's important for us to listen to the community. No one understands what they're going through and what the community needs like they do. Well, the vigil was organized by the Congolese community of Greater Cleveland there, and it will honor Apollina as well as uh, also serve as a chance for people to talk about safety for our children. Oh, looking for a cool car? Tomorrow, Cleveland police will hold their annual car auction bargaining deals on the many abandoned or forfeited cars that they've been keeping. About 40 cars are up for auction now, and they'll host it at their impound lot on Bradley Road starting at nine. The money from the sales will help the department buy gear and more technology to fight crime. 
Well, distracted driving continues to be a huge problem on Ohio's roadways. And during the last five years, 226 people have actually lost their lives as a result. Yesterday, the Ohio State Highway Patrol, the Ohio Department of Transportation, and AAA all teaming up to educate and discourage drivers from doing things like texting behind the wheel, comparing it to being just as dangerous as drinking and driving. And another immediate danger this time of year is speeding in construction zones. Slow down for all roadside workers. And unfortunately, we are at a record right now uh, for this point in the year. We've had more than 70 ODOT crews struck just in 2022, and we're only at the end of April. Very important things to remember there. Well, Ohio law also requires all drivers to slow down in construction zones and to move over to an adjacent lane when approaching any vehicle with flashing lights. Well, we're all hoping for nice weather this weekend and beyond, right? Well, here's another reason to crave it, really. Brew Dog in the Flats is opening its patio starting tomorrow. And there will be stilt walkers, games, popsicles, and of course, lots of beer as you take in the views of the Cuyahoga River. And the party starts at 11 a.m. Well, thank you for taking the time to join me for this 3 News Now morning update. Our digital team will continue to bring you the stories making headlines around Northeast Ohio and the world. But in the meantime, please be sure that you continue to check out our social media pages and WKYC.com throughout your day. I'm Carmen Blackwell, and I'll see you here on a Monday morning starting at 430. Have a great day.